When I started at the Boys and Girls Club eight years ago, we were doing a meal program, but it was not on the same scale as what we are doing now. We were serving all of our meals out of an apartment-sized kitchen. All of the meals, we were not on a reimbursed food program, and so all the meals that we provided to the kids had to come from whatever we could purchase through Second Harvest with a very meager budget. We had to be really creative about what we were serving because we did feel, even years ago, that it was an important part of our program and that we really needed to um, incorporate that however we could. A lot of kids don't get an opportunity to eat good meals at home. Parents working two, three jobs. Some of these kids, this is the only hot meal they're going to get for the day. So they have an opportunity to actually eat and enjoy it and they love it. A lot of kids really, they love the meals that we serve. When they get picked up early and they're not able to eat, they get you know, sometimes, sometimes they get pretty upset that they have to leave. I know that for a lot of kids, they may not be saying it every day, but you know, the weekends get to be really long when they don't have that regularly scheduled meal or snack coming. When they come to the club Monday through Friday, like they can expect to get that. And I think it's really difficult for some of them. The weekends change their routine and they just, they're not having that same kind of nourishment that they're getting from us. Many of the kids that are coming to the Boys and Girls Club are also on a free or reduced lunch plan at school. So they're getting breakfast, lunch, and then we're providing snack and dinner. The donations from Golden Plump that we get provide that lean meat uh, portion of our meals and the Second Harvest Food Bank. You know, being able to get that fresh produce a lot of times for free or just pennies on the dollar, we can really tell over the years that it's made a difference. When kids have full bellies, when they are at least satisfied in that way, it just kind of takes away another one of those factors that can be causing problems. When you're hungry, you can be irritable, you're not performing at your best, and we want our kids to be performing at their best at all times.